Hello everyone, welcome back to the Avis YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how you can reset your MySQL password. So let's start it. So first you need to create a text file. So you can create the text file into your desktop or you can create the text file in any of your drive. So I'm going to create that text file into my D drive. So I'll come to my D drive and then I'm right click on that, click on the new option and then click on the text file. Now just give the name of that file, MySQL password. Open that blank text file and inside that blank text file, you need to write a SQL query. That SQL query will help you to the reset the password. So I'm going to start the query with alter user, and then give the root close at the rate, start with single quote again, localhost, close the single quote, identified by start a single quote and close it. Now in this between single code, you need to mention what is the new password that you're going to give. So I'm going to give the new password of one root one, two, three. So over here in this place, you can write any password that you want. Then I'm going to close this with a semicolon. Now, then I go to the file option and I'm going to save this query and then I'm going to close this. Now, once you have done that, you need to open the services option. So start searching in the search box, click on the services, then start looking for MySQL 80. So MySQL 80, double click on that and start with click on the stop button. Now, once you have successfully stopped it, close the services. Now come to your this PC and look for C drive, go for program files, go for MySQL and then go for server 8.0, go to the bin and copy the path. Now, once you have copied the path of this bin folder, now in the search box, come again and start looking for CMD. So make sure you open the CMD as a administrator. So click on administrator, click on yes. And then I'm going to change the directory to the file. I don't want to, let's close the one. CD, copy the path which you have. Click enter. Now I have changed the directory. Now, now come back to this drive. Now go to the C drive. Over here, you need to find a program data, which is not visible. So for that, you need to enable it. So click on the view option, show option of called hidden items. Now, once you click on the hidden item, you will see there's an option of called folder of called program data. Now go to the program data folder, go for my SQL, go for SQL server, and over here, come here, and then you need to write op slash my ion file. So you need to copy this part. Okay, after writing my dot ini, copy this path, come over here. Then I'm going to start write my SQL D hyphen hyphen defaults hyphen files equal to. Then I'm going to paste this path. So make sure you give a double quote at the end and as well as the beginning of your path. Okay, then give one space write hyphen hyphen init init hyphen file equal to then go back over here this pc and copy the path where you have saved your new text file copy this path paste it over here hyphen hyphen console so here one thing that you need to understand make sure you don't give a space between file and equal to. If you give a space between file and equal to over here, then it will not work. So click on enter. It started. Now it's ended. Now press control shift escape button to open the task manager. And once you open the task manager, click on CMD, right click and task. Now, once you have end the task, now you have to go to the services again, services. Now look for MySQL again, start. Now I've successfully started the server. Now let me open MySQL again. So I've opened a MySQL, let me open any of my connection. So it's asking for the password. Now I'm going to write my new, pa uh, new password which I've given root one two three 
as you can see i can access my connection so that's it for all i hope you guys like follow i will channel